All right, so we have Stray Cat asking, um, if traditional dress made a comeback as the as a norm, how would you envision the wear of a great kilt with modern touches and and fashion? <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> that. Um, I a great kilt is is a utilitarian garment. It's not meant to necessarily be super dressed up. Um, it was kind of, in a lot of ways, the the great kilt was kind of done before the Victorians. Victorians started playing around with plaids and different things up top to mimic the great kilt, but it wasn't a great kilt. So. Yeah, and before the Victorians, it wasn't necessarily a fully formal regalia. Oh, it could um, be, but they didn't. Okay. Different. It wasn't about the. It wasn't so much formality as it was just showing off wealth in yeah. general. Yeah. You know, um, you know, if you wanted to show off that you were a wealthy laird, then of course you would have, you'd have the kilt. But the point is, you'd have richly embroidered, decorative jackets and shirts and uh, waistcoats and weapons and all that kind of stuff in context to show yeah. off that you were all that That's fair. but uh I, I in some ways i feel like all right insert insert lecture here um modern formal dress nice dress tends to be tailored to be very angular i mean look at this you know this isn't even formal but the point is it's triangles rectangles trapezoids that kind of thing so a great kilt is floppy and floofy and they don't always really mix um, now we know one or two people who will wear a great kilt uh, casually, and in some ways I feel like that's about as far as it's gone and, and can go. Because if you're wearing it with fewer layers, softer, more rounded shapes in the other garments, then it can be kind of cool looking. But trying to pair, we have occasionally people try to ask, like, can I wear a Prince Charlie coatee with a great kilt? And it's like, no, nah, it's going to look dumb because you're 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 messing with floofy round shapes and lack of organization with very Tails. geometric exact uh tailoring of a modern jacket and it just looks odd yeah. so i don't know if it ever will make a comeback if it were to, if people are going to try and force them to make a comeback they'd, they'd have to alter everything else to make it you know it'd be like sean smith who does one of the few people i know who does it well doing a throwback to 18th century clothing and and that then you have all the, the vest, rounded yeah. Yeah, the rounded and more Puffy supple curved kind of things. Yeah. yeah, and then it's, is it really, then you're just kind of going retro. It's not like yeah. pushing it forward. It's just kind of, it's he's, not making a comeback. It's, you know. He's trying to be a romance novel cover. Yeah, basically. Um, Sean Smith on the cover of uh, The Highland Laddie. Um, my Highland Warrior. But that that's my that's my opinion. At least. No, I, mean, I, I don't I, disagree. For casual wear, sure. But it's if you're going casual and you're not going to care about the other stuff a t-shirt is gonna look fine because you're showing off the physique then um bomber jacket fine just you know you look like you're rugged and going out for an adventure going to a wedding with a great kilt and yeah an argyle jacket and stuff this looks weird here here's where i'll kind of go with it you when i wouldn't wear a great kilt i'm not a great kilt guy but um, I think you're a pretty great kilt guy oh thanks Shucks. Um, <clears throat> when the great kilt and or the jacket compete for space or when the jacket gets in the way mm -hmm. or when the t what you're wearing up top gets in the way of the kilt, that's where I kind of draw the line. Yeah, or vice versa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so if you're wearing a Prince Charlie, which is a, a, a formal angular jacket with tails and you're wearing a great kilt, you can't see the tails because it's wrapped up in the back of the great kilt. So... That's kind of where I draw the line under it and say, nope, this will not work with that. T-shirt is tucked in with the kilt. Wear a form-fitting T-shirt. It, it you know, blends well because it's not getting in the way. As you said, shows off the physique. That could kind of work in a contemporary way. I'm yeah. thinking like Albanock. I'm thinking Sean Smith. I'm thinking... Uh, Jonathan Kennedy. Jonathan Kennedy, thank you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so there's there's different people that can do it and get away with it, but it's not... It's not traditional Highland wear. It's not contemporary Highland wear. They're just making it their own and kind of blending the two, which is fine. But it's it's going in a different direction. Yeah, it's a growing trend. I think yeah. the only thing, the only way I could see it possibly working would be with some of the more formal jackets, which are intentionally a throwback to earlier 19th or even 
quasi 18th or Regency period styles like uh, uh, a Sheriff Muir or a Montrose doublet. Maybe. I think a Montrose doublet would be fairly forgiving. It's a higher cut, yeah. It's a higher cut and it's a very simple. Or a Kenmore or something like that, yeah. Maybe a Kenmore. I don't know. Yeah. Anything with lapels, I feel like, would look odd. But if it doesn't have lapels, I think your chances are better. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm going at. But okay. uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. I, it's, it's, there's a level, and it's also, it's, you're mixing, as you said, you, you know, the, the angular, tight, form fitting stuff with something kind of loose and floofy and more, you know, artistic looking. Um, so visually, they don't work great together. So I would draw lines there, but for casual kind of organic look, mm -hmm. I think you're fine. Formal puffer jacket. Define puffer jacket. You know, puffer jacket with the insulation stuff. But you have like some trim, you know, you have some silver buttons on it. You have a big saltire, you know, chrome zipper comes up here, comes all the way up here and becomes like a little medallion at your neck. Now formal, I'm thinking formal puffer jacket. Now I'm thinking back to the future, Michael J. Fox. There you go. With the, why are you why are you wearing a life vest? You yep. know? Yep. Yes, indeed, in a great kilt. With the, the puffer vest, yes. Oh, we have to get you back to the future. Yeah. We have to get you back to 1870. <laughs> 1776. All right, sorry. All right, enough. Enough. Great Sir Walter Scott. Yeah. Well, Aaron Aaron Peabody said, uh, Rocky in a great kilt, velvet Sheriff Muir, Purple. and Buckle Brogues. Purple Sheriff Muir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then he's going to look like Brooks. something out of the Regency yes. almost. So it's, it's, or, or, you know, or late 18th century. So mm -hmm. that's, it kind of works. I mean, yeah. Why would, would you do that to me, Aaron? <laughs> You're a friend of the show. Why would you do that? I, I'd like to see him in that outfit. I think it'd be hysterical. Yeah, now we're I mean, I mean, it would look good. Now we're, now we're frenemies. <laughs> so let me know in the comments do you wear a gray kilt or would you ever wear a gray kilt? They're not for everybody, but we seem to be getting a lot of orders for great kilts. So I'm curious, why why is this trend occurring? Remember, if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us out and you get to see more of our shining faces more often. Thanks, guys. <laughs>